first, first, first given, given leave. Only difference it makes to me is that Woodard buys a cheap stuff. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. The last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office. Something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. Optional steel, her red harvest. This stuff or not. Make up your mind. Okay. Howdy. She's not going to like like it. If I steal. Funny thing, we didn't get any bonuses from Shara, uh, even we, we, when we said uh, sent the governor to the jail. It's a shame. I liked Hurst. He was good for the people, but I can't abide by his transgressions. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself, and head of the program. Never heard. <laughs> well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought to keep them operational here, but the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. That's right. As the highest ranking officer on this planet, it was only fitting that I be appointed to the position in the interim. Or he I appointed himself. Covering Hurst's scandal. Rest assured, I'm not like Hurst. I won't make the same lapses in judgment he did. I'm sworn to my duty to serve the people of Mars, and I'll keep with it until someone tells me otherwise, or I'm six feet under. Whichever comes first. Bye for now. The United Colonies Department of Labor would like to remind you that working too much overtime is harmful to Okay, your we, we can't actually steal it. Any injuries or can have harmful, the pressing effects of overwork or exhaustion can also harm your company's bottom line. Okay. Keep it simple or keep to yourself. I never will. I am, but last person that came didn't even want it. Now you got my attention. This ought to be good. I do have a soft spot for that girl. Yeah? And how do I know you're not just using her story to get your hands on rare whiskey? I do believe you. Critical success. You realize what kind of a bind this puts me in, right? Tell you what, I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. Yes. I'll only charge you what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Give me that, and it's yours. Six hundred. I sure hope you're not pulling my leg about this whole thing, or else I just let all that money slip away. You better do justice for Rivka. Center. Ah. Hi, welcome to Jane's. Sidonia's only 100% independent one stop. Yeah, she, she has red eyes as well. I apologize if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but please let me know if there's anything I can get for you. My stock may be low, but my prices are high. I mean, good. The prices are good. Ah, lots of, lots of. Ingredients. Any 
any medipacks. Apparently no. Part Corsair. Vendor credit 1000. Uh, I might, might hold on to that. Demos survey data. Okay, so I can actually craft something out of coffee. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. I but know the feeling. Unless you're some sort of merc. I'm not sure you can help. So well... I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods, but he went missing. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. I'm worried something bad has happened. Well, we are good at tracking people. Really? I mean, thank you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but it'll mean a lot to me. I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring back Eric and my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. And try to bring them both back in one piece. Can't promise anything. So it's some somewhere nearby, basically. Apparently, if, if you get some information, you can unlock m more m more traveling points from from this from this uh, map and universe. Aha, uh -huh. okay, mercenaries. Interesting. We'll talk here on board. Where we'll have my crew to back me up? Be aware that if you try anything, we will not hesitate to fire on you. You may come aboard. Well, that might not be the best idea. For those guys, I mean. But I don't have a medipacks. Hmm. This might be a bit ugly. But I have a, have a shotgun. It might not be Jemison, but this ship hey now, is starting to feel like close enough. Better think twice before starting trouble. What exactly do you want here? Of course it doesn't. It belongs to the guy who paid us to return it to him. I'm sure that ain't you or whoever sent you either, so you better be ready to talk fast and choose your words carefully. I swear, it's it's like I said, that's Jade's ship. I, 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 I was there when she bought it. Hey, shut up and let the adults talk. Now, where were we before this interruption? Uh, 
That's possible. But even if what you say is true, it's not my problem. We've got to reclaim it for its owner. I wonder Sounds if I need to use fine. shotgun to his face. Our orders. So, unless you've got something else to propose, we'll be taking this ship in. Our employer will handle the pilot. I'm not convinced this is a good idea. Well, this is just another ship to my client. They can afford to take the loss on this one. It might work out for you, but my client would disagree. Funny thing, I'm I'm actually failing these green ones. They should be easier in one turn. Look, I like to help, but I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. You know what? Fine. I'll tell our guy the ship's gone. We get paid either way. Yes. This ain't worth the trouble. Just be extra careful out there. If my client ever finds out the truth, we may meet again. And I won't be so cordial. Though I hate the fact that we had to strike a deal with Ecliptic. At the end of the day, we did it to help Jane. Job well done. Oh, no, no, you like. And let him take the damn ship. I'm done with this headache. Yep. Thanks. I... I thought that was going to be it for me. I can't believe you, you, you worked out that deal. Jane's going to be happy to get her ship back. I was just about to write the whole thing off as a loss, but... Damn, you pulled it off. I guess I'll stay here with these guys until their ship returns, and I'll meet you back at Jane's. Yeah, sure. Let's let's loot before <laughs> before that happens. Good thing I didn't need to shoot shoot them all to the face with the shotgun. So there there would have been like four five six eh, that's a that's, that's a lot red and orange everything is red and orange as far as the eye can see it can start to wear on you okay so that's like explanation why these guys and girls have a red eyes oh i love low gravity <laughs> makes me feel like i'm floating on air that's actually not many sci-fi actually Note that there's low office. low gravity. Okay, we got your, your ship and boy. Everything okay? So what happened? Who took it? It was stolen? Oh jeez. I guess it really was too good to be true when I bought it. Anyway, I'm super glad you found my ship and saved Eric. It's more than I could have hoped. I'm glad I asked you instead of relying on Sistef. I never would have seen the Berry Mule again if I did that. Well, first of all, I'm going to count myself lucky. Then, I'm going to continue building this business. Now that I've got a functioning cargo ship and a pilot, I can really start to bring in some good merchandise. No! I mean... I knew the deal I got on it was too good to be true, instincts be damned. I probably should have thought about it more, but I had to jump on the offer because my business means everything to me. Yes, I know better now. You've done me a real solid here. There's really nothing I can do to fully repay you for what you did. Here's what I can afford to pay you. And on top of that, I'll see what I can do to lower the price of anything you want to buy from me. Thanks again. Okay, some some some, some money. Look, second. I wish there were more kids like me around. Grown-ups are always so grumpy. Hi, I'm Renee. 
and I'm so bored. My mom and dad can not talk to people I don't know, so I thought maybe I could talk to you, and then I know you, and I won't be so bored. Okay, one of those quests. <laughs> See, now we're friends, and my parents can't say I'm not allowed to talk to you. Flawless anyway, logic. What do you want to talk about? Not really. I mean, there's Taiye. He's a good friend. But he's also one of my only friends. There aren't many kids on Mars, because my mom says that this is really only a place where people come to work hard jobs for a little while. But I wish there were more kids, because it gets boring. Like, when Taiye is busy and my mom and dad are off working. It's okay, I guess. It's better than living outside, because Mars can't support life outside and I'd die. But maybe it would be nice to live on another planet someday. I think I used to when I was a real little kid. And sometimes my mom and dad would take me to visit my grandma and grandpa in New Atlantis. I like to play with Taiye sometimes. We come up with lots of games to play. Sometimes we listen to music or watch shows. But when he's not around, I like to draw. Sometimes I draw things and give them to people since they're so mopey all the time. It makes them smile. Actually, wanna help me? I just uh -huh. have great pictures of space frog, but space frog. I can't go out right now. Can you help put them up for me? What's a space frog? Space frog from outer space. And he's a little frog character that I made up. Uh-huh. I've never seen a real frog before, but I've seen pictures. Anyway, he lives in space and goes around to different planets helping people who are sad or need help. He's great. You will? <laughs> sure, <laughs> why, you, why not? You. People are gonna be so hi. happy. Hi, hi. Here's a bunch of copies of the space frog drawing I made. You can post them in places where you think people will see them. Thank you so much. Stack of okay, I need to play six space frog pictures to the colony. Yeah, why not? Hey. So it's a lot more dangerous out there than I Okay, it's a space frog. Really and okay, so there's there's uh, I wonder where the hospital is. You see, Marine Barracks. These guys could use a military life, may be tough. Damn it, I'm gonna make my family proud. Get these out of it. Let's faith in God is what brought us to the start. Completed. Just put the space frogs gonna be famous. Maybe he'll even get his own cartoon show after this. Hi, thanks for doing that for me. I wish I could do it myself, but having a friendly adult help me is almost as good. I know, right? Last time I did this, lots of people came over to tell me how much they loved it. I only hope these drawings stay up longer this time. Anyways, it's not much, but I got a little something for you as a thank you. I feel like credits. You can now build space frog posters at your outpost. Okay. <laughs> that's that's prob probably good, I think. You think this is bad? Try soup walking on the exterior of a military ship during maneuvers. Well, that sounds pretty bad. Oh, different kind of 
there's our ship. Different kind of scenery. So there's a bit of radi radiation. I suppose there shouldn't be any inside. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, so let's equip. Okay, we have a boost pack. something down there so we have a some small radiation do I have a better 15 that's 30 that's what's a, what I'm wearing now that is okay 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 against radiation this is actually slightly better against radiation of Mars. Okay. Heart of Mars added. I bet my supervisor I could haul up double my normal quota. Guess who owes me drinks for the rest of the month? What? Hold on. You're telling me you actually found the Heart of Mars. It's supposed to be harmless prank we send newbies to go find. It's not supposed to actually exist. Ah. Yet, here it is. Or at least something resembling the legend. The only way this could happen is if... Damn it. If I gave you the wrong cave coordinates. The whatever you found, it's still impressive. You showed me up on this one. Feel free to keep it, since I'd say you earned it. Okay. Okay for for me. So it's probably residential section I need to take the car. Or I, I could actually select the right mission as well. Okay, 
here, here they are. Hello, Dad. What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a, a Apparently visitor. their looks are coffee, dependent on my oh, looks. Oh my god! Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, son, but I, I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything alright? Yeah, I'm killing pirates every day. Well, I'll be. I'll be. Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Every... <laughs> Stop him, <laughs> you're making hey, me I blush. I get to sing your praises as much as I like. No one can. Oh, but you didn't yeah, that's, give me that's any mom. notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Uh, although that's how you left it. Yeah, about my right? sheep. Let the boy catch his breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Picking pan. This is my room, apparently. High school backpack. Extra capacity. Yes. I bet you are your old high school backpack. Good as new. There's so many pockets in there. One of them had an old apple and well it's clean now. I know the grown up but the backpack has best storage on the market. Maybe you could use it with Argos. Love mom. Oh, yes. Deck of cards. Plushy Galactic Cat. Okay, interesting. The money you sent home? Well, it means a lot to both of us. That was something like 2%. I still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. How is it for real? You liking it? Well, I'm shooting pirates every day. Uh, the people are really amazing. I just hope I'm worthy. Don't you worry yourself about that. All your life, you've been just this mess of potential waiting for a chance. Your number's finally been called, and the settled systems had better be ready for you. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. Oh, uh, oh okay. He's a part, teacher. Yeah. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Okay, interesting. University. Congrats, Dad. I gave it my good old college try. 
<laughs> you see what I did there? Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. Remove kid stuff, trade. I'm not sure I can keep sending money back home. I can. Planning a proper, honest to goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother has been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions. But it'll be good to get out. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? <sighs> I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, parents we are not apparently it. doing too well. More than you know. Or maybe sci-fi future is American. No, no soci social, well, social there are some welfare of any kind. Missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but she got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Not that I mind. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Anything good to watch tonight? Yeah, sure, Dad. I mean, I want to watch it sometime. I still can't like get over you being... Okay, she's, and it's not she even has the same eyes than my character. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special what? in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. Nothing to report yet. Do you know, your dad <laughs> cannot wait to be a grandpa. Uh, so don't keep him or me waiting too long. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. <sighs> well, now I see that it's true. Mothers have an irresistible urge to interfere in their children's love life. I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Now that we're both retired, you mean? I got okay, time both to retired. push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. You're welcome anytime. And I mean any. I'm going to take a nap. Shine. We've got things to do. There are always about a million things to do, and I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while, and Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Who's Carl? A worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there.
So this is basically some kind of slum in uh, New Atlantis. So not ev everyone is actually living well. Li like my parents. Hey, can you hear me? I think this is working. I only have a general view of things. But you should be near the first junction box. Look for it mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. That's it. Great job. So, that trip to secondary breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jinx. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. Nice to meet you. I hope I'm as cool as Solomon Co when I grow up. Junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? This is fitting here. Fitting here. that easily since I traveled with Vladimir Sol. Uh, 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 oh, what's that? Okay, that's, uh, that's my laser. Found the laser. We should add that artifact. If you have any gear you want me to haul, I'm happy to help. Have something for me? Yeah, she, she's a bit better with the laser weapons, so maybe this would be like... Oh, and she actually has like... What heck? Advanced Regulator. 0.43 Ultra Max, so this is like... Very advanced pistol. 
Okay. Talk to you later. So, um some something happened here. Was this an accident or...? Empty, empty beer bottle. I mean, his do robot dog might have attack, a attacked him. Or something. The windows have been open, so... I don't know. Feels, feels a bit sketchy. You should be near the next junction box. And if those squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... Mm, the trade authority. Okay. Just find that and, uh... Maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. Okay. Final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real tangle of cabling. Like 200 years of Bill and Deb's three wire things. I tried to fix it three years back and was crying by the second day. Gave up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order, but flip levers until all those circuits are powered down. Blind luck. Wow, you got it. Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Okay. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, fun. I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. Okay. some kind of gaming consoles. It, it would be fun if you can actually go and lure guards out of the out of the place with with the coffee. Oh. You'll have to remind me of your name, dear. I'm afraid I can't keep track of all you little worker drones. 
I'm Luisa Reyes. Well, you know that, because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And what was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry, what? We traced the drain, checked the grid. It led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we're prepared to handle the situation. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Okay, you're probably right. Just need to breathe. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Uh, okay, yes. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Okay. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mask's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, what you're are the you one covering? who's doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Hey, I thought you were out there, you know, solving this. Even in the well, the trade authority continues to flourish. Oh, makes you sick, doesn't it?
I wonder where, where this is going. Yeah, you should be getting close. Hello? Is this functional? I insist that you provide updates for any suspicious activity. Is that clear? And Zoe's here too, if you hadn't guessed. We've agreed to work together on this. Once you throw the switch, we can direct you to the next junction box. Suppressor with a shotgun. Mm, I suppose it's possible. Okay, I need titanium. What are you doing there? Okay. Lock didn't last very long. Go visit the London landmark on Earth. and picked up the books. Leave leaving this here.
unauthorized computer. So what's what's drawing so much power? My guys got recreated with the rewiring. You should have all the tools you need to run the program non-stop. ATM transfer. Slicing value of zero, zero, 001 credits per tra transaction. So they are skimming money from from the transactions. But it's it's looking like a rounding error. Pretty valuable. So decisions and decisions. Which which of those would actually actually Problem? need need more information? I don't, I don't think I'm going to then I give I the e evidence to stuck. Joy. The only place close enough. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the settled systems. They like to set up shop and all. So you tracked it down. You've got something to show for it? They can strike anywhere. Great. I'll get this back to Mass for analysis. I'm not stupid. I know Zoe probably made you an offer. I appreciate that you didn't take it. And I'm really glad we got to work together on this. So, looks like maybe someone thought they could hack into Galibank's system. In fact, it looks like maybe they did. Still want to claim you had nothing to do with this, Zoe? My dear. Why in the world would I want to break the law? And Galbank, no less. I do quite enough business with them as it is. All right. Well, I'll have some people look over this. Maybe they'll be in touch. I very much doubt that. See you around. Okay. Oh. I was hoping we might run into one another again. Uh, okay. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree ah. is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. Divine bad news. We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations. I don't know how much more significant it will become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Now, as of yet, there has been no response. And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. Okay. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. nice short-sighted and ill-advised in my opinion of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow 
Clearly, no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. Oh, you could clone could the tree or something. Response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kessler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Well, I have a reason, reason to go to Aquila City now. But before that, we are going to head to the lodge and return this piece of metal to them. Plate Bloomer <laughs> mission update. Stabilized. Is there anything new, Sharon? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Constellation Space element of the space suit. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Dropping off a few choice items. Yeah, I, I forget to unload. But I use Vladimir. In orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, oh, I'll never hear the end of it. Maybe another time. 
Just so you know, your mother has missed you. Like a lot. We saw each other like five minutes ago. I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Yep. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh, took turns sighting it at the range. Ah, okay. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left them. He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. A living stone. It's yours. Oh, I'm no expert, but he was some sort of wealthy entrepreneur. Near the end of his life, he grew fascinated with space. He wound up being a benefactor of Constellation and chaired it before he died. The stories make him seem colorful. I think I'd like him. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. That's not a revolver, but 40, 45 caliber pistol. 1911 Oh, alright, <laughs> sure, sure why not <laughs> 